<laughs> All right, everyone, and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... First Mate Rick here, at your service. And welcome... To, well, welcome to an open screen at the moment. That, But that's because... Uh, yeah, there, this game has a bit of a surprise in it. I also have to turn something on to avoid a little issue with the game. Uh, yeah, we'll be streaming Shantae and the Pirate's Curse today, so let me start that up. And OBS should hopefully capture it right now. Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. Yeah, this is, the first game where, <laughs> this is the first game where Shantae is voiced. And Come on, OBS, I know you caught it earlier, like a little minute before this. Yeah, but I can hear, but I can't see it. Okay, why, why are you being weird, OBS? We need to start this. Hmm. Oh dear. Let's, let me do that. It literally worked just before all of this. Uh, nothing should be blocking the game. Let me move it all the way up to the front. All the same. Yeah, I, I thought my new name tag blocks it. I very That's much doubt that, yeah. Okay, game capture, specific window, window, Chante, cursed at EXE. Okay, why the hell... Let me try this again. Let's see. Uh, could it be the, the thing? Let's see. Close that off. Then start it up again. There we go. Wait, does that mean that the, the thing that fixes the issue is going to... Okay. Give me a second. Turn this back on. Okay, for some reason that was blocking what was happening, but uh, <laughs> yeah, this is the first, this is Shantae and the Pirate's Curse, which really came out on uh, the 3DS and Wii U as uh, an eShop. Ow! Yeah. What? Ow! <laughs> oh, yeah. Ian, my head! My head! My head! My beautiful helmet! Give me a second. <laughs> <laughs> and that is why you have a helmet. Ow! There we go. I know there's a red frame around my head as well. Uh, there we go. Thank you. But yeah, as I was saying, uh, this this game was originally released on the 3DS and Wii U as an eShop item. And I plan to go buy it on the 3DS eShop before it gets closed down next year in January. Because uh, I, I really want to see this, how this game plays with the 3D effects. And I have heard that they are quite good. So... Let me just hide everything else away. Bring up the stat. Well, uh, at this point I'm pretty sure that these older... Uh, <laughs> these older uh, port games are, aren't going to put too much of a stress on my computer. So I can leave... The, I'll open Task Manager all the same just to be sure in case something else starts to get funky. So, performance... Yeah, I forgot to start that up early. But, uh, yeah, enough about that. Let me get started on the controller. And, uh, yeah, as is obviously, I've played this game <laughs> for quite a bit before. So let's put the second slot, and let's go with normal mode. I forget what pirate mode specifically is, but I believe it's just a New Game Plus sort of thing. I think. It, it has been quite a while since I played this game. So let's get started. Yes. That character looks wonderfully well drawn. Yeah, many do consider this the best of the Shantae games. And I can't say I disagree. Nope.
day? I had a dream again. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's not just in the intro where she's voice now. It's been, same, it's been the same one every night, ever since I became human. One of the world. And of course, the town is under attack again. <laughs> I may not be a genie, but it's still my duty to protect this town from evil. And uh, it's, before we head off, uh, yeah, the, the graphics are quite upgraded, as you can see, at least for the background. It's still good pixel work on Shantae and such. Uh, but there was a little something I spoke to Drakir about about this game that can be a bit uh, iffy when you're playing it on on well, on computer, and that is that uh, the FPS the, the frame rate of this game is linked to the free, the uh, speed of your monitor. So at the moment it's being capped. So now it's running at 60 FPS. So let me turn this thing off for a second, and you can see what effect that does when this game goes into hyperdrive. <laughs> yeah, so that's not really a good speed to work with. So let me turn that lim limiter back on. It is the limiter. The thing I'm using for this is Reva Turner uh, Statistics Server. It comes oh, with uh, it comes with MSI. Uh, what was it again? Uh, with an MSI program uh, for yeah, keeping a track of your computer's uh, <clears throat> computer's. Uh, uh, I forget what the I f on your computer's processor or something. I, I, I forget the specifics, but uh, yeah, let's get started and save the town or freaking again. Yeah, and of course you surprised me about having a sandwich in my mouth. But <laughs> what the? And uh, yeah, the, that's everyone running for their lives. <laughs> Wait, holy! That's yeah. Boulder's weapon. Yeah. <laughs> Is it a pirate attack? Worse, it's the Ammo Baron. He's turning Scuttle Town into a war zone. Here, an auto potion, just in case. Which I believe is an auto revive, basically. It's time to put your training to the test. You're a human now, and you've got to fight like one. Here, take this Pike Ball. You can activate it from the inventory screen. Okay, I'm gonna go catch up with Sky. <laughs> and yeah, now since. Uh, since Shante isn't a genie anymore, she can't really she can't use magic either anymore either. So now the uh, spells of the previous game are usable items. Oh no! Polo's <laughs> right. I can do this without my genie magic. Uh, as before, we can jump. We can attack with uh, Shante's hair. And, uh, yeah, Emma Baron's making a mess of the place. And these are his slugs. No need for a heart, but still can't grab one. And... Oh, yeah. Each of our, the hearts that we have now be now subtracting quarters, so it's not it's less of a guess of how much damage we can take. Okay, we still break pots and stuff for health, for health and other things. That was a full heal, I believe. And here's the... What would we call him? Uh, he was called the mayor, yeah. Huzzah, it's Skull Town's Guardian Genie, here to save the day. The real mayor, I can't find the entire Ammonian army by myself. Do something about this. But you see, I can't. I sold our town to the Ammo Baron in a moment of weakness in the previous game, and then spent the money on cheap waxy chocolates and ate them. Oh, love of. Say what? <laughs> then I had to go make dirty water, and by the time I got back, he'd already started to move in. He owns the town, so I can't make him leave. Boo hoo hoo. <laughs> yeah, the mayor's an idiot. But never mind. Magic or no, I'm ready to go. Oh. Uh, yeah, we have these grenadier enemies. I, 
Okay, yeah, we can stand on that, okay. And in, in the meantime, towers just keep collapsing in the background. And I, 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 I don't heard that phrase in Asia, and I've never seen it spelled out in a game. Well, we, we did see it in the previous uh, game. <laughs> it was Barracuda Joe who said it. Oh. I must have missed that. That was at the, the tower. And yeah, enemies will also drop collect... Well, not collectibles, but usables for us as well. Yeah, I remember he was saying tower. I, I would not be surprised if I missed that due to temporary pixelation on my end. Could be. Though I also I read it out. <laughs> Yeah, so, but I could not see it written. But yeah. So far, the screen is just fine. And, okay. and uh, yeah, instead of... It, when she gets hit now, Shanta actually gets knocked back on her ass for a bit. Uh -oh. So we'll have to be more careful around ledges. Yep. Little crawl space. And uh, I think this might be the best rendition of Burning Town that the series has so far. Oh dear. Right back, I was gonna wash my beard for a bit. I got ketchup on it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, better not make too much progress then before he's back. Okay. Nope. <laughs> yeah, they're really pulling out the big guns for this, huh? And yeah, he's in the background, so we can't actually hit him. Oop. Being smart, trying to shoot the ground from underneath us. Yep. Well, bomb it from underneath us. Luckily, fall damage isn't too big in this game still. Come on, still get hit. <laughs> yep. So we took time to grab a pair. Okay. Uh, yeah, they're literally trying to shoot the ground from underneath us. And, well, they've got bloody miniguns. <laughs> yeah, they are an entire army after all. Oop. There we go. Yep. Oh, yep. Did you just get the heart? Yeah, there's... Oh. Well, there wasn't a need for it then, but <laughs> we do need it now. What kind of... What kind of troops are those? <laughs> oh. Good question. Oh, and I'm surprised they're using swords. Yeah, oh my I'm guessing they're supposed to be some sort of assassin. <laughs> Bunch of idiots. <laughs> hey, you made it. Come on. Ren says the ammo baron is just ahead. Good, because I've got a... Yeah, cause, good, because I've got a message for him. Straight from my hair to his derriere. Okay, and work on those lines. <laughs> Oop, more of the townsfolk, and of course, immediately we get rid one of the grenadiers again. The red coats. Okay, yeah. Do uh, this is also when you're when you're in low health in this game, Shante actually gets beat up. You can, you can see some holes in her suit in her pant leg there. And uh, yeah, let's not die to this guy then. Oh dear. Uh, oh dear, the wiggles. It's still the sound, even if the music makes it hard to hear at the moment. She looks like a very angry cat about to pounce. Okay, let's hope we have enough to beat the ammo baron actually like this. <laughs> That's right, boys, tear down that preschool and convert it to a long-range cannon. Another retirement center, another cannon. Ah, it's really coming long. <laughs> I'm tearing up here. Hold it right there, ammo baron. No one's weaponizing the elderly on my watch. 
Cabramo, boys, you sh boys, you shouldn't have. You see here to dance at my victory party. Oh, no. Thrice approved. Yes, you will indeed uh, de do. The nerve. <laughs> what do it look like anyway? Uh, well, you are dressed like a dancer. A bit. I don't know, some kind of dancer, I guess, aren't you? Oh, well, yeah. Yeah? Yes, whatever, stop fucking our town. According to the fairness towards oversized chocoholic landowners act, we were scuttled but had 30 days to refund the full amount in cash or edible confections before you can claim legal occupancy. What? What? Huh? Let me see here. Ye gets, she's right. But I'm not allowed to... <laughs> I'm not about to let some purple-haired pipsqueak stand between me and my glorious new empire. Bourgeois, let's dance! <laughs> and yeah, the first boss. Mechanized militaristic madman. And of course he's in a freaking tank. Oh. There we go. <laughs> he just dusts off and scurries back. Uh oh. Okay, I he can't get us here. Impressive pixel animation. As we get shoot, <laughs> shot in the face. <laughs> He's just having a tantrum down there. Uh, there we go. Uh, again, we don't get any health bars for enemies or for bosses, I believe. But I, I think that's never been that's never in these series. Maybe someone could could have modded in one. Oh, gotta keep an eye out and not lose our last shot. And there we go. And with one health left. That takes care of you. No, look what you've done to my tank. It was a gift from mother. What <laughs> that face? What's all this commotion that you only now noticed? <laughs> a literal war going on over your town. It's the ammo baron. He's trying to destroy Scuttle Town. I want my chocolate back. Halt. Who said that? Who? What? It's the... Royal well, Guards. They'll fix this. Guardian Genie, you must cease your attack by order of the Sequin Land Sultana. What? Me? Ha! <laughs> you see? The law's on my side, girly girl. But... But he's the one who... We're assaulting the rightful owner of this town. Your status as town, your status as town guardian is hereby revoked. <laughs> she should not look so happy about that. <laughs> What's this? You are hereby confirmed, you know, uh, confined to quarters until your hearing at Sequin Land Palace. You will be relieved of any special weaponry at that time. Uh, good day. Look like someone getting a haircut. <laughs> they can't take my hair, can they, Uncle? It's all I have left. You will stay safe for now. But what if... Patience, I will head to the palace myself to sort this out. Just promise you will stay out of trouble. I promise, Uncle. And someone give that girl a heart, she's... <laughs> She's one and a quarter away from death. My poor, poor town. It's your fault in the first place, jackass. Guess we blew it, huh? What a mess. Your uncle's right. We'll just have to place our trust in the authorities and hope for the best. Wait up! Uh, how did I get into this mess? Uh, something is not right here. Uh. Oh, I recognize this. Well, uh, Ammo Baron was the legal uh, 
quote unquote owner of the town and well <laughs> if he'd not if he'd well not blown everything up maybe things wouldn't have gotten to this but <laughs> he's literally con you know, called a militarized madman so what else was he going to do yeah no, i feel like he broke him a few laws himself well as the ruler he probably could have made everything what he wanted a law but yeah and rotten whiskey boots Ever since she stole my magic, things have gone from bad to worse. Uh, a hot bath is just the thing I need to clear my head. Aww. Wait. I don't own a I don't own a bathtub. Don't tell me. Yep. Well, well, isn't this a sight? In the flesh. Enjoying my booby trap bathtub, I see. <laughs> we're, we're in big trouble when I get out of this. Please, you're giving me goosebumps. I'll keep this quick. Tell me where my men are and I'll let you live to see tomorrow. What are you talking about? Don't get cute. My man and my weapons are gone. Who else would take them? Who else but you would take them? Me? You're the only thief around here. Really? Then perhaps you can explain when you, why your uncle has my crewmen caged up in his lab? Don't be ridiculous. Okay then, I'll prove that you're up to no good. It's, she just dragged the entire fucking thing along with her. True oh, town. <laughs> uh, there's my missing man. Right here in dear old, un dear old uncle's workshop. What have, you, what have you got to say for yourself now? I, I didn't know. But I'm sure there's a reasonable explanation. I know the reason. You wanted revenge for that incident with the, with the genie lamp. Just look at my poor defenseless tinker bat. He's terrified. Yeah, more like he doesn't give a crap in the world. <laughs> he's probably he's probably thankful for the time off. Oh dear. <laughs> like I said. Yeah, okay, now you can see they are not human. Yeah. Looks fine to me. It's your last chance. Tell me where they are. I want my men. Uh don't take that out of context. <laughs> I want my weapons. That makes more sense in, in context and without. <laughs> and I want them right now. Huh? Okay. What's that noise? Bat? What? It, it's actually it's trying to claw its way out. <laughs> no. No, it can't be. What happened to him? I'll explain later. Look out. I'm unarmed. Deal with this creature quickly. At, at least get me let me get decent first. <laughs> And the thing actually waits around for that. I can say this. That thing looked horrifying when it was inside the yard trying to claw out. Yeah, like a fucking xenomorph. I, yeah, it, it was gonna a whole quality to it. <laughs> and there we go. It blows up like a boss? What? It, okay. Here, get rid of that ratchet stuff with this. And hello. Hold the lamp button to suck things up. And oh, that is why it, it basically works like a vacuum. You got the dark magic. <laughs> I got him. Now, now, could you please explain what's going on here? There's no time. What about the lamp? 
Aren't you going to try and take it back? Keep it. I've got bigger fish to fry. And so do you, if the Pirate Master has returned to Sequin Land. What was that about? Who's the Pirate Master? Hmm. And with that, we are given control again. Let's see. We can talk with B. I hate boring stuff. That's why I always skip conversations by pressing pause. <laughs> I'm a rude dude. <laughs> yes, you are, kid. Yes, you are. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Again, the music in this game is great. Yeah, I love the music and I love the character designs. Stay safe out there. The fields are filled with monsters. My job is to slay them. I'm bad at it. Uh, did you check your inventory, key items, and map? I can use the arrows to swap between them. And we do that by pressing... I still need to... If I recall correctly, select is the left middle button, and start is the right, but I can obviously be wrong on that. Uh, let's, yeah, completely revives. Uh, if we use an I if we use one of these items from our inventory, it'll well, it, it'll keep going until it's used up. We have a map, <laughs> a bet a much better one than last time. And here we have our key items. We have well, illegal summons. You are ordered to stay at home and out of trouble. Uh, but with if we are at home and trouble comes to visit. And that is yeah, a good Magic release from cursed ca uh, cackle bats. Collect all twenty of them. Yeah, th th this game has a special ending if you manage to collect all twenty of these, which I will be going for, because well, it's a true ending. Okay, then we have a reason to do with them. Yep. The, wo then the woman over there looks just like the nefarious pirate risky boots. No, well, minus the hats. She could be anybody. So, the only way you people recognize Risky Boots is by her bloody hat. And not by her... The fact um, that she looks like a pirate at the open ocean. Well, also her unique outfit that looks like a screaming skull. Yeah. Well, what do you want? You're off the hook, so I get lost. This Pirate Master guy, he sounds pretty dangerous. Dangerous? It was the greatest threat Second Land has ever known. The last time he showed up, it took the combined powers of every lost genie to defeat him. Wait, you're talking about real genies? They captured him? He's dead, but don't let that fool you. With the genies gone, the Pirate Master will do everything he can to regain the dark magic and rise again. Dark magic? The stuff that transformed my crewmen back there. The Pirate Master must be stopped or Second Land is history. After all, he has no right to destroy what I've worked so hard to conquer. Uh, uh, well, maybe I can help. Yeah, a runt like you wouldn't stand a chance against a foe like the Pirate Master. I can deal with this myself. Ow, you, you couldn't even fight a single cackle bat on your own. True, but if I destroy the dark magic at its source, I won't have to fight at all. Cutting up the power he feeds on should keep him in the grave where he belongs. I'm only lacking one thing. The map of the Forbidden Isles. That's easy. Just try the library over at Second Land Palace. I can't go to the palace. They'll clap me in irons. <laughs> Unless... Uh-oh. Hey, don't look at me. Those guys want to clip off my monster whipper. <laughs> That's a way to call your nair. Then I guess I'm, I'm on my own. But I might reconsider my position if you fetch me that map. It's your choice. And there we have our first objective. Got any items, got any items in your inventory? Highlight them for a description. Then use them whenever you see fit. We. What was the we for? I'm tempted to see if there's any low videos with risky blood fight. Um. Curious if she is a human or not. I do believe she is. Oh, she looks very much like a vampire. Like she has it. 
almost game to that some vampires uh, sometimes give it, and she has red eyes. And she, her crew are Tinker Bats. Yeah, which... Uh, I don't even know what the hell to call them, little demons. Also, we found a heart squid. Yeah, we don't find full heart containers anymore. Instead, we find those heart squids, which we can trade in for heart containers later. Please, I need to be alone. Alone with your cholesterol, I'm guessing. <laughs> hey, Helian. <laughs> hey, hey, hi, hi, Atreus. Hi, Helian and Rakir. Thank you for the nameplates and nice mug. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, I totally didn't scratch out anything on it and replaced it with Captain. Uh, sometimes I do it... feel like an alien. What? What? And, uh... What? <laughs> uh... <laughs> yeah, I just really did you first thought you were an alien or something? <laughs> uh, we were talking about the Tinker Bats, uh, the Risky House. How was the game? Is the Noldy? Uh, not that old. This game came out in... Also, hmm. 14. Yeah, 2014. I was going to say 2004 at first, but no, that would have been way too old to be on the 3DS. And uh, yeah, if you have a 3DS, uh, you can get this game on there uh, while the eShop is still up, which will be shut down in January of the next year. So uh, I plan to do that. If you have uh, one and this game looks interesting to you, definitely go get it there. You can get the 3D effects as well with that. I think it means 3DS for the 3DS will go down. I think they're going to keep it, uh, the issue for the other consoles. Uh, for the Switch, yes, but for 3DS and Wii U, they have announced they will shut it down, from what I've heard, at least. All right. Probably good to specify that just so don't, people don't panic that who owns a Switch. <laughs> uh, yeah, I don't think they do that. They make a bit too much money off of that. Uh, anyways, uh, how are you doing, Atri Atreus? Uh, what do you think about the change to the layout, like, layout I made with the uh, bigger window and the border and such? Chat has to had to surrender a bit of space, and actually, I hmm, I should. There is a lot of space left on the left there. Uh, hmm, I'll need to see into fixing that. Uh, let's see properties. Maybe okay, do that first. off the stream. Yeah. Okay, it is keeping to the normal to the normal window size, but uh, yeah, I, I, let me do a little test here. Hell. Okay, that's a bit odd. Well, hmm. I'll need to look into some way to get that to work better. Okay. Anyways, then back to the game. This is the bathhouse. I sometimes drink the water. Uh, insert your own joke about Baki gaming your girl bath water here. But uh, yeah, the reason that these are around is that we can heal at them. Take a dip in this herbal spring. It's sure to restore your vigor. Wait, hold on. She, she's still laying on the table with belly first. Who would... Uh, well, actually, I can see why uh, she would. She uh, could she... costumes in that way. Yeah, I think it's more that she's leaning over it very heavily to, uh, well, lure in customers with a different sight. Probably double. Maybe <laughs> if I wish uh, it would open. <laughs> oh, wait. No, yeah, don't, don't take that out of context, please. Behind me is the shop. Why not buy an auto potion before you go? That way, if you die, you won't die. <laughs> well, that sounds true. It... What the? And uh, this is where we trade in the hard squids. Let's come down, Squidsmith, at your service. I take a durable little hard squids and melt them down to make more health for you. Uh, <laughs> we need to forge some hearth holders. <laughs> Sorry, sweetie, but it takes four hearth squids to forge a hearth holder. 
Uh, okay, she looks nice, except the what she does with hot squids. Yeah. <laughs> and well, the shop got to change up. <laughs> they got a bigger uh, skeleton, but less of it. That's a dinosaur. <laughs> Welcome to my shop. Okay, let's see. Pirate flare. Warp to the uh, warp to the ship instantly for outdoor use only. Okay, super pike balls, bubbles. <laughs> Monster milk, boost your attack strength full of what might be enzymes. Okay. Super monster milk, champ. Okay. Uh, let's see, deal more damage, faster whipping. Let's go for more damage first. Okay, and we can also learn some new moves here. Let's see, the uh, back dash. You got a hmm? moment for you almost broke. <laughs> uh, let's see. Learn backdash. An advanced fighter's move. Quickly evade your attacker. I think that's what we uh, could usually normally do. I guess it was linked somehow to Shantae's magic. Learn recover. An advanced fighter's move. Backflip to recover from a heavy hit. Okay. And the power kick. A powerful offensive attack. And yeah, we don't have to backdash. We have to no. We don't have to dodge move anymore. Oh dear. And also and, uh, have a way that. That's how to his uh, story behind uh, Hillian's new cup. I, I was se watching this second season of Cuphead the Mugman show and... Yeah, a certain pirate that uh, came out from his ship and grabbed his mug that just uh, a big bronze cup that said Number one captain. <laughs> uh, we, we need one. And I'm going to go to Discord to tell him. And the first thing I say is Hillian just writing, he's stretching his arms as I'm ready for coffee. <laughs> they are definitely like, yep, I am definitely now had to tell him. Let me guess, Briny Beard? Yes. Yeah, I, I know of Cuphead. I have never played the game. Maybe someday I will. Uh, uh, but yeah, I, I've heard that the red, I've heard that the Netflix uh, show is pretty good. Well, also, a little something. Is. Uh, is. The first season is good, but second season is better. I, I, that is what I've heard. Also, the shops have these little icons at the front, or these little plaques at the front to show what they are. Uh, I kind of like that when they do that. If you're on the try a player. Buccaneers use them to quick and return quickly to their ships. And yeah, right. since it, this game is a lot more open world, and well, this game, this game's world is a lot bigger, so that is probably going to be useful to carry a few of those around. Speaking of carrying around, did you hear the mayor sold our town to the ammo baron? Yeah, he did, and he made us deliver the bloody deeds. This room? It's filled with giant bird, egg, bird eggs. See for yourself. Just press up to use the door. And yeah, this <laughs> this is Sky's place. And the hell is that lumpy ass egg over here? Probably something terrifying. Like the rest of them. Shantae? I thought they had you know, under lock and key. I'm on my way to the palace library to get something to read. You know, to pass the time. Can I borrow your library card? You? Read a book? This I have to see. Just don't ruin this card like you did the last one. I nibble when I'm nervous. Uh. <laughs> oh, and what? And wait. Bird. Oh, I think I know what some of those eggs might be. And that be? Rooks. R O C. Rooks. Yeah. Let's see that library card. Golly, they say the camera adds five pounds. But in your case, it gives you blonde hair and a totally different face. Amazing. Head down this path to, uh, to reach Sequin Land Palace in the library. Good luck. Uh, I think someone is a dead man if someone heard him right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the guards aren't too smart. Like, they're still not using weapons. And... Uh, hello? 
Did the game just... Okay. It's not responding. Okay. That's odd that it crashed. Hmm. Okay, just start it up again. And, Worst uh, moment for it to crash even. Yeah, at least unable to sync. The hell is going on? We still have internet. Shantae and the Pirates Curse. Play. There we go. Move that up a bit so I don't have to look down. And... Come on, OBS. I recognize that voice actress. I think no? she have appeared in uh, this guy. Uh, just forgot which character. Okay, my is OBS not touching now. Shantae. Shantae and the Pirate's Curse. Why is it being iffy now? Or is... Oh, it's, it's because of that program that's running, that's, that's capping its frame rate, I think. Okay. Hmm. Come on. Why is it not... Okay. <laughs> okay, I just noticed something stupid here. I'll show one... The game decides to show its face again. Come on. I, I really hope this isn't going to be a common thing. Because that would really get things in get in the way of things. There we go. Okay, putting the limiter back on. So well, we don't go hypersonic on this. And uh, yeah, there's a little hypo here. I stopped down. <laughs> Eight gain. Uh. Also, yeah, I changed up my, I changed up the chat a bit so that after some time, two minutes or so, uh, text will vanish again. Um, I might put that up as for longer times, uh, or maybe turn it back to normal, that it just keeps the text until it's pushed away. I think it's better that way, since that way we avoid accidentally missing an oh red line. <laughs> okay, let me deselect that. There we go. Thank you, master. <laughs> uh, okay, we have the hot springs. The hot springs there, yes. Stop here. Squid Smith there. Let's do a little save so we don't have to do that text again. And I, not that it's too long, but if we do have to keep, <clears throat> if the game crashes again, I. Yeah, that's going to be an issue. Okay. There we go, and... Okay, so it was just a random crash. Uh, give me a sec to reposition the window again a, a bit. Yeah. Oh dear. No, I hope we get to see rooks in this game. We'll have to see a lobster tail, okay. Okay. And for those who wonder what a rook is, it's a, it's a very big eagle that is so big enough that it actually carries off elephants. Yeah, basically take your normal eagle and do that by magnifying it by about a hundred times. Yeah, and we talk more about the Arabian Middle Eastern eagles kind. Do they yeah. fought and lived in Africa though? It's meant that some merchant in Madagascar and such tricked Arabian merchant with palm leaves and said, This is a feather from a rook. No idea why I put an accent there, but yeah. Okay, that's our third heart squid. We'll be finding plenty of those around the place. Uh, yeah, let's hope that that was a, a unique case of a, tr of a crash. Because otherwise, we might have some troubles. Yeah. And it's actually yeah. awkward if this game had more trouble than the first game we played. Hmm. And this one is the new one in the series, after all. Yeah. So, it looks... It looks like they were built using the older system for making this. Just 
gave, gave it a little polish, like, it basically like discarded it, like, they used their own system, but over the years they upgraded and gave it polish more and more. But it still looked relatively the same, just more polished. Uh, I, I can't tell if they used the same engine, they definitely used uh, a lot similar, uh, a lot similar imagery at the very least. Yep, just more, again, polished. Yeah. Okay, we saw plenty of these things in the previous game. Yep. <laughs> How freaking hard of it is for me to hit a freaking spider? But even the trees, a lot of the things that you bring you reused, including the fruits here. And branches. Which, again, I don't mind. Yeah, some people would call it lazy, but since, well... The, the graphics in general haven't been changed much. It's more of a, yeah, cons yeah. It would be more, yeah, keeping the, uh, the, the, yeah, the graphics consistent. Yeah, for in some games I can like it when they do things look nicer, but sometimes they do so much that it doesn't look like the other games anymore. And a, it can be good or bad. Yeah. What are you doing here? Everyone in Scarlet Town thinks I'm a screw up. So I'm picking up objects at the palace. Painting fences, installing locks, and whatnot. And now you're babysitting? Oh, the undead kids? Nah, they're just here to chew the fat. <laughs> Mine. <laughs> I can't escape. Got any flesh pops on you? I need three of them. If you can find yeah, you can find them in the sewers below the palace. Uh what? Uh <laughs> Yeah. Undead kids. Uh, let's not dwell too much on that. Uh, good day, sir. Hi. Uh, what's up, sir? Oh, don't mind me. I'm just flummoxed because I dropped something very important down the, uh, down the drain. You see, my tr I'm a traveling brochure salesman. It's a very interesting profession. You must, yeah, you must have seen some exciting things in your travels, huh? Travels? I've lived here in front of the palace my whole life. But I thought you said... Your generation makes me sick with your arrogance. I'm not, <laughs> I'm not a brochure salesman who travels. No, I, I sell <laughs> traveling brochures. <laughs> and I dropped my last, yeah, very last vacation brochure down this drain. Disgusting. Oh. Oh, me oh my, that blue-haired uh, lad installed our new lock backwards, upside down and inside out. <laughs> now we're trapped inside without a row of gate key. <laughs> Bolo. What? And, uh, hello. Wait, it's a Bolo, so it could be intentional. <laughs> oh, fuss and fret. I haven't seen you in a while. What's the matter? Oh, you know, post-boss syndrome. <laughs> Now that you've embarked on a new adventure, I feel like I'm destined to become uh, some sort of filler boss. I'm not sure I follow. You know, I wasn't major enemy last time, but this time... I just feel like we're going to have to battle again, just to round out the package. Package? You wouldn't understand. Uh, I need to get away, someplace safe, uh, someplace warm. Maybe it's time for a vacation, Squid Baron. A change of perspective could do you good. Say, you might be onto something. I've always had a fairly flat yeah, view of the world, being a 2D character and all. And, and yeah, flesh pops, uh, yeah, <laughs> you on that. Yeah. Kind of staring at the same four walls, you know? <laughs> Repetitive, high stress music, I could use a change of scenery. <laughs> uh -oh. he's, talking about, he's talking about the battle music. Uh, take a look at Chat Helium. <laughs> <laughs> Squid Baron a Flat Earther, only instead of the, well, the, <laughs> it being flat underneath <laughs> your feet, it's flat uh, at a 90 degree angle. <laughs> Could it be there a Peer Earther? Uh, I think you, you know, if you think of a good vacation spot, please let me know. Meantime, I'll go cry in the corner. <laughs> oh, gosh. Poor guy. Oh no, I just remember something. First time I heard about the pear-shaped earth, 
was it in a yoke in, in combination with uh, a Christopher Columbus scene? I then later get to hear in a video that it's an actual thing. Some people think the earth is shaped like a pier. <laughs> okay. Uh, oh, that's one flash pop down. Still small, way smaller group compared to flat earthers, but still. Yeah, like a pier. You know, the fruit. Yeah. That I just ate. Just a delicious. And it was on my head. And another one. Uh, yep, yeah, there we go. A little hidden area. Well, not really uh, hidden. The hidden pass uh, is I think there's been other things that some other people have thought, like the earth was square. Or shaped like a egg. <laughs> like, there's been many things, but usually it's smaller uh, groups. And there we go, another hard squid. That should be number four. And the thing about it, the word myth that people in the past thought Earth was flat is actually a myth. Many no. people did not believe Earth was flat. Okay. Especially not in Greece. Uh, if I recall correctly, oh, oh that was the exit. Uh, Someone is... I forget who specific... No, either it was the, the Romans or the Egyptians themselves, but they, they they managed to prove that the Earth was round back in, well, the Egyptian, in their era, uh, by just sticking two sticks into the ground and then uh, yeah, well, that, that, two that sticks very Greece. far apart. That was yeah. one of the Greece philosophers. I forgot which. Okay, I think it was done... the politicians? Okay. Uh, yeah, I would guess one of the big ones, uh, but could have been just any of them because there were so many bloody Greek philosophers. Yeah. Uh, oh, no, no, no. He was from Greece, but he went to Egypt to do the experiment. Yeah, I recall it. I recall that one of the stakes was stuck in the ground in Alexandria, and another f a lot further down south, I believe. Or was only Alexandria in the south? I don't actually know. Uh, more east. Uh, oh, yeah, no, wait, they, no, they... no, 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 south, south. Yeah, I was either way. Area. Uh, at the same time of day, they measured the, le the length of the shadow of the sticks, and, well, it was different, and so they found out, oh, there was a globe. Or at oh, least yeah. a spherical. Yeah, in the Middle Ages, no one believed that the Earth was flat. At least, at least a few did. Okay. Oh, let's hand in these things. Hey, flash pops, did you get those for me? Yes, just take them off quickly before they stop to rot. Awesome sauce. Yeah, these will do for the, these will do the trick. By the way, if you're heading up to the royal palace, return this royal gate key, will you? Some idiot must have lost it. Gross, it's covered in bite marks. Yeah, I found it in my mouth an hour ago. Here you go. Wait, what? I think Bolo might have uh, dropped his weapon on his head a few too many times. Or was it hidden inside some food? <laughs> Maybe. Either way, we got the key so we can get in. Oh yeah, oh. that's true, Atreus. Many figured that out as well, through, simply by sailing. Let's see, they just put big stakes in the ground. Fascinating. I heard of people also figuring it out, it out by being able to see the sails of a ship over the horizon before the hull and coming to the logical conclusion. Yeah. yeah I think that's what they... Okay, I might be wrong. I think that's uh, what the Greek followers of news as well then proceeded to do experiment on land as well. So I, I might be wrong on that. I might be wrong there. But okay. it is a, one of the things that proved the Earth was round as well. Let's see. Oh, could it be? You have the wrong date key. Would you please? Would you pass it to me through? <laughs> would you pass it through to me, please? Yeah. We gave the gate key. Ah, uh, it is a thing of beauty. Now I can unlock this, unfasten that, reattach that, and there. 
Second Land Palace is once again open to the public. Please come inside. Okay. Uh, I don't know... Actually, I think we need to find that brochure eventually, but for now... We can go in here and... Welcome to Second Land Palace. I heard that the Sultana is traveling. I worry when she is so far from the palace. Okay, luckily they're away, so our trial is postponed. What's that smell? Uh oh, this is not my armor. I'm guessing they have it inscribed on the inside then, because yeah, all of their armor is the same. The Royal Library? Through this door and across the hall. What a curious armor they have. And here we are. A visitor. Let's have a look at you. Ho oh, oh, ho oh. ho. This library card doesn't fool these old eyes. He used to come here all the time. The relic hunter's daughter, right? Yes, well, he's my uncle. And what's this? A court summons. It says here that... Hmm. Scissors. Jigsaw. Ghost mouth. What? They mean to cut off they mean to cut off that long winsome hair? That will never do. Why don't I just all these papers away until the Santana returns? I'd like to give you a knowing wink now, but sadly my eyelids no longer work. Ow. Please take whatever you care for. Thank you very much. Hello. The hollow globe contains a secret. You got the Forbidden Isles map. Well, that was easy. <laughs> They're forbidden. On one Earth topic to another. <laughs> Keep that chin up, young lady. You have friends all around you. Good luck. Yeah, I thought so for. I think there are many people that will help a globe. Atreus, you know what a globe is, right? Even though the, the hollow globe sounds like a reference to the whole world. Uh, oh. I don't know if we can, I don't know if we can get that uh, brochure at the moment. So uh, let's just get risky. Actually, there's. Oh, that brochure is probably in this area here. Oh dear. I've escaped from these kids. Now we're just talking. Hard to tell the difference, I suppose. <laughs> okay. Polo and kids don't get along. Okay, I don't like these guys because they just bolt up into the air immediately. A, a bento box. Yeah, hey, the... no. what? yeah that's Japanese nice thing. Yeah. Ba basically, we have uh, defensive and weapon items here. And then we have healing items, though uh, I don't think we'd want to use these. Uh, that loves to look curious. Okay, just gotta head our way back. And we should have enough. We should be able. To... We should be able to buy another upgrade or two. Oh dear. Yeah, let's save before we get ourselves killed. Okay. We are just facing the same enemies at the moment, but that's because we're still on this island. So when we get to the Forbidden Isles, we'll be facing some new enemies as well. You got a what now? Okay, what did you miss here, there? Or are you just joking? No, no, I, I'm trying to meet Shonklet. What the heck is our Shonklet? There, yeah. it's Luffy's favorite. Just meat on the bone. Who's Luffy? Uh, some guy who probably passed through his town, tried to get Shantae to join her crew, and then just fucked off. It, oh. 
like Look that. Look at his name. <laughs> Monkey D. Luffy. Yeah. I have so many mangas. And I have seen this that anime, but once I took a break from it, I was unable to find the episode. I know it was up to around 300. Uh, I think they're up to like se episode 700 by now. Yeah, and I, after that I just gave up and decided that nope, I don't know, I'm gonna try to watch anime like Bleach and One Piece and such. Just there's way too many. Yeah, they, they just take so goddamn long. Yeah. So I decided I just go with anime that are a few seasons instead of hmm. few hundred episodes. Let's get some silky screen for more attack speeds. And maybe try and get the backdash once we have some more cash. For now though. Let's com let's commit some animal animal let's commit some animal cruelty. Is there a she's probably the tallest woman in the game. And yeah. why are you oh god. You you yeah. are head high to her um area. Oh gosh, I forgot. I have seen her before. I think she. I saw her on. Oh bloody! I forgot the name. At Game Grumps. <laughs> when I tried to play it, and talked over everything. Uh, there, your max hearts have increased by one. So now we have twelve hits total, or twelve HP total. What? What's we turn hot squids? <laughs> well, it took you so long. I found this in the li at the library. Map of the Forbidden Isles, just like you said. Hm. I guess the good, uh, the little good for nothing is good for something after all. And she's a good at kicking your ass, especially risky. So, will you let me help? Only if you agree to, only if you agree to do exactly what I say when I say it. The pirate master is my foe to contend with, not yours. And when this is over, we go our separate ways. I can't believe I'm saying this, but it's a deal. Let's meet this guy together and save Second Land. Hold on. How do I know you won't pull a fast one? Would I lie to you? Yes. Yes, you yes. would. <laughs> Say hello to the steam-powered Oceanic Tinker Top Mark II. Mark II? What happened to the first one? You happen to it. Get on board before I change my mind. Fear. <laughs> uh, yeah, Saliva Island. I uh, I, let's have a little check. Okay, the upper one is the amount of hard squids there. And the lower one is the amount of tink or cackle bats there. So there are three more on, in Scuttletown. But for now... Uh, Saliva Island. What? This is it, Saliva Island. Unless we can find another map, this is the end of the line. I'm ready for anything. Um, what the? <laughs> Where did you get those clothes? Below deck. There's, <laughs> there's all kinds of fun stuff to wear. Most of the clothes were too much roomy, er, uh, much too roomy, though. Stay away from my personal effects. <laughs> Gosh, I've never been so far from the mainland. It's pretty here. Don't be deceived. The Pirate Master draws power from this place. There's a den of evil hidden somewhere on this island. You are going to find it. What about you? You're not coming? Not this time. But I'm sure if we work together... I said no, and I meant it. I have my reasons. Oh, I see. You're scared. How dare you? I will cut you like a mackerel. Jeez, learn to take a joke. And get out of that silly outfit. <laughs> You're no fun. Let's go. Everything's... Wait. Is it completely close but too roomy? It's... Shit, wait, wait, hold on. Shanti wears ba baggy pants. Uh, and I think... school wear it wears very tight pants. I think you're low I think you're thinking a bit too uh, low. 
Okay, what if... Yeah, I suspected that at first, but still about stripping off the entire outfit. Okay, uh, dear. We have this crab again. Oh dear. Oh, and the mermaids. They look... But they look the same, just slight different. Yeah, and they don't do the... They haven't done the heart attack yet. Also, just <laughs> the crab drawing, you knocked them away like that. I just did the heart attack. <laughs> okay, I missed it because I was looking at the crabs. I she did it again. I think you missed it due to... Yeah, she has a rock roof over her head. Nope. Yeah, come on. Okay, and at least they hide oh, the bats. I kind of want a plushie of those bats. I should see if anyone made those. Another one of you. Okay, I didn't mean to leave the screen yet, but let's take a peek. We can't jump down that, okay? Now, that can still be annoying in some games when you can't only, when you can't jump through sp specific platforms or jump down through. Yeah, especially when you're supposed to be able to do it. Safe guy. He gets around, I say. Yeah. And not in the uh, <laughs> not in that way. What the? Hey, girl, cute get up. You're here for spring break? Us too. This looks like. Uh, look at this lame. Uh, but look at this. Yeah, look at this lame swimming pole. It's all dried up. I can't sunbathe without a proper pool. Psst. This place was a total ripoff. We can't swim. We might as well eat. I'll get the ham all set up. That's a, a large ham. Where's the manager? with no water. Such a shame. That face! <laughs> I, I can hmm. imagine you do that face. If someone steals you mushrooms. Okay, well that was a dead end. So I'll... Let's try and be somewhat careful. Uh, okay. What is that? Yeah, that's something for later, I believe. At, at the very least, we can't reach it at the moment. Hello. Hmm. Many years ago, I came to this island with my beloved bride-to-be. Our only wish was to be joined in holy matrimony. But a horrible monster, a servant of the pirate master, found us. His gaze turned my beloved to stone. I can never leave her side. Here, take this ring so that I can finally forget my sorrows. Okay. Gee, it looks pretty old. That ring is yours now. Perhaps you should turn it to wherever I first proposed. Mysterious rock between the four lily statues. Okay. Uh, uh, there's this statue of the what? Are we applauded for staying by her side for so long? So he basically ran into a Medusa. So this call it a he. Hmm. Uh, so, oh no. Medusas can be a species as well. Yeah, Medusa is a person. You're talking about gorgons. Uh, yeah. However, they are not the only ones that can turn things into stone. Cockatrees. Yeah. Cockatrees, basilisk, me in the morning. Yeah, that's so. Don't, don't anger me if I only had two hours of sleep. That's odd. There's a circular indentation here. That's the ring? Yes. The ring clicks into place. And now we can bring these up. They are back. Nope. 
Okay, they actually drop down after a time. Can we... Okay, we can... We should be able to jump between these two. Also, let's... Uh, let's eat a bit. There we go. That gave us two full hearts. <laughs> we got to see her eat it. Okay, there and there. We can jump onto the platforms while they're rising and... Okay. Hmm. Oh, bloody I remember that. One time I came to a exercise work, because I've been working at there for some months, and one day I just came to work off the tour sleep, and I told if I was scared, I told the tour sleep for apparently that I was walking like a zombie looked. Apparently very unpleasant, and, and when he when I mentioned two hours sleep, they told me, go home. Yeah. Uh, it was in a shop where we painted the wooden legs, and even car wooden legs for furniture. Okay, I was about to ask uh, for pirates. No, not, okay. not peg legs, sorry. <laughs> but yeah. Luckily my mother worked in a place nearby, and I told her that I, they want to send me home due to it, and uh, yeah, yeah, she she drew me home. Luckily enough. And yeah, it looks like we have water dragons in here or something. Might be a serpent of some kind. Okay. Looks also a couple frogs though. Definitely, loads of freaking frogs. But what the heck? Wait, what the hell is spitting out? Gunk. There's it... something inside. Was that yep. rotten living fish? Nah, I don't bubble. think it was living anymore, at the very least. <laughs> so they're basically. Burping out bubbles of Zeus drumming at you. Yeah. Or the worst version, a very spoiled Zeus drumming. This sounds horrible since Zeus is actually fermented fish. Yeah. Uh, so, idea of that going rotten? So, this all red rotten is just terrifying. Yeah. Here we go. He's not, he, he's not kicking us back down again. <clears throat> Pardon? Yeah, but... uh, at, at, at least the mermaids don't stay hidden that long anymore in their little pools. That also helps a lot with dealing them with them. Okay, random snake from nowhere. Uh, hello. It's a Gigalomax. Wow, this thing's enormous. What's this sign say? Caution, Giga Lumux uh, may become aroused by travelers smelling of ham. Wait. Yep. Aroused? Yeah, uh, aroused from sleep, I believe. Hmm, and well, we have a ham here. Uh... Do we need to... Do we just need to keep hitting that or something? I... I presume Shantae now smells of ham. It looks oh, like... Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> we need... We need to capture it. <laughs> you got the ham stink. Okay. Oh, no. And also, so, I realize we have heard them mention Lomox before in the last game. Um, but only a reference. I don't recall that specifically, but there's a good chance. Yeah, I think she caught someone in Lomox or something. <laughs> okay. 
And now we have to fight these things all over again. It's, oh, they have only one eye. Yeah. <laughs> uh, mutant, <laughs> mutant ninja <laughs> frogs. <laughs> be careful uh, with our um, health. I guess you've seen that episode of Only the Turtles then. Uh, I know there were multiple episodes where the Ninja Turtles had to fight other mutant beasts. Yeah, and there was an episode where they fought three frogs wearing Hawaii shirts and other weapons. <laughs> okay. I forgot what they call themselves. I forgot what they call themselves. And then also there was, well, Battle Toads. It was supposed yeah. to be a competitor to Ninja Turtles, but failed. Like, there was success in games, but they. They had one pilot episode, and it but failed so bad that they uh, they cancelled the entire series. <laughs> yeah, Battletoads is infamous for being hard as balls. Uh, that too. And you can see the pilot episode of Battletoads on YouTube for free. I should probably go look that up then. I I not bother to watch it for it seems so it looked so cringy. Okay, release the hamstink. Stink it up. <laughs> Shante releases the hamstink. You gave hamstink. Oh. I agree. <laughs> so that's what is called Saliva Island. Uh, I guess so, and there's another Cacklebat to deal with. There we go. Only 17 more to go. At <laughs> Shante dancing with the thing. Okay, she has two animations for that. An aimed one, and, well, <laughs> this little... <laughs> she knows uh, how to dance. And, uh, uh -oh. well... Oh, oh there's somewhere oh, no. that we can go down there. Hey, girl, you got the water turned on. That's only at the pool. You said it, girlfriend. What's this? My porcelain baby fresh kid is too much for the sun. Mine too, the light is bouncing off it. The light is bouncing off. Careful not to cross <laughs> the beams. Oh, come on. Second time today. Yep. You got the Petrify spell. Okay. All right. You did it. The pool is full again, and it smells like bath salts. What? <laughs> uh, um... The water is really, really warm and kind of viscous. Uh, let's uh, not tell them. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess. Yeah. I get. I guess mirrors, but also, I can of feel so of it. Sh should we tell them? Uh, maybe later. For <laughs> now, though, we have a. Petrify spell, but what to really... Well, we know someone who... <laughs> Ignorance is bliss, yeah. You found something? Could it be? You found it. The spell that turned my beloved to, my, my beloved to stone. At long last, I can finally reverse its, re reverse its effects. How's my beloved? Whilst I speak the sacred words. Ahem. Petrify. Uh, if you want to undo a spell, maybe try saying it backwards. Oh dear. And the ground gives up underneath them. I am... Um... Whoopsies. 
Uh, uh, they, they all join together, but still. Yeah. Spittle Maze. Let's see uh, <laughs> what other abominations we can uh, find here. Spittle of. Yo, hello. I think you're. That was a mutant. Uh, if, I, if I remember right, I think I know what a spittle is. Yeah, spittle is basically just saliva that's hanging out of your mouth from some or something. Oh wait! Is it? Oh wait! I was thinking of spittoon. <laughs> no, that's one of those old, uh, yeah, things people spat in. Yeah. Whoops. There was, I think I was uh, within the right category at least. The hard squids. And also, what the heck is this with the snakes? Yeah, there's a bunch of them over. This hello. Uh, no, no, have you seen the faces? Yeah, they're a bit. Oop, spill maze map. Okay. Yeah, let's take another look then. Okay, we need to go back up to find more, or likely there's going to be some over here. Oh, I guess it. So far, notice what was shown to you here so far. This, I think, probably adds to its fandom is continuity. Mm hmm. Like. In some games, they will just ignore the Baron. I just explained it off screen that, uh, oh, yeah, he's been dealt with. Yeah. But no, he was actually become a problem. Um. Hello, Eldritch Horror. Hey, I, kn I know these things. They, they, will, they will try to defend against our attacks. So we have to constantly switch between standing and crouching attacks. And yeah, it, it wouldn't be a dungeon without some dungeon keys to open up the doors. Yeah, and you got a popo shield. Yeah, we've gotten a few of those now. I should probably use them in some fights. And... Hmm. Can we just get that... Actually, let's finish up over here. So at least we will respawn on this side of the map of the room. Okay, we can just walk off. No need for... Yep, complicated jumps or anything. <clears throat> okay. Nope, only one door we can reach. And let, let's look at these snakes then, yeah. They're coming from that crack up there. The, the eyes are a bit... Oh, it, it, you're mean more like... The fact that they, they have teeth like that. <laughs> yeah, they look rather... Derpy. Yeah. Like, if you just cartoonfully smack their face in with a book or board or something. Yeah. <laughs> uh, about cartoons, I can say we should definitely add uh, Cuphead and Mugman into our series watch. Uh, yeah, I, I've seen... I've seen some clips of it, not full episodes or anything, but I I do have seen and heard that they they don't. Uh, of course, they don't. They can't mimic the game like 100% or so, but, but they do have some interesting takes on things. Oh yeah, I think there's only one episode I really dislike, and that's a episode trope they probably have abandoned for years now for a reason, mm, and apparently. That's... Is the only episode everyone agrees on is the bad one. Okay. And it's a... It's a baby episode. Uh, yeah. Where well, someone just leaves a baby at the door. Those uh, kinds of episodes never tend to go well. Yeah, and... like... I think I've seen Wonder was good, but I forgot which cartoon it was, but yeah, they generally just... In the boring or kind of cringe. cringy. Yeah. Yeah, cringe. Oh, hello. And also, 
most episodes are between... Uh, they're basically just 12 minutes long, or 15. Okay, so that's how we get back. Wait, yeah, no, 12 minutes long episodes. Uh, if you discount the, the opening credit and end credit, then the episode's about 12 minutes long. Hello. And yeah, I, I just finished watching the third, se second season today and stopped today. And yeah, we found Risky's pistol. Wait, what was her pistol? Oh, yeah, they say. Hey. Her crew was gone, all... her pistol was. Oh. Her weapons were stolen. Though how they ended all over the place, uh, I'm, I can hazard a guess that the the Tinker Bats are responsible for that. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Shantae's got a gun. I think I have a theory already that I've been small brewing, but I still wonder if there might be some truth to it. And that be? Okay, the, two, okay, two theories. Her weapon, some of her weaponry and crew are stolen from the Pirate Master. Or it's that, and the Pirate Master might be Risk Boots. Parent or ancestor? That yeah, could be. Uh, I'm not going to give spoilers, of course. But you see, it's true. At least it's a good theory. Uh, I'm not going to say anything against it, at least. <laughs> yep. Ugh. You just jumping straight into things, aren't you? Yep. And we can all. If I can land a bloody hit, we can attack with this as well. Wait. The crabs literally have one HP. Really? <laughs> okay. How do you know they have what? Okay, never mind. Okay, now I saw what you meant. Okay, there you go. Are they just so weak or are they like literal definition of glass cannon? Well, they break as easy as glass at the very least. Oh, and more of these. Oh. And now there's two X. Let's use one of these. Oh, what are they? Yes. Some sort of lobster crabs things or something. Let's let's use one of these as well. Dude, that's one gone, and that's the second gone. Okay. Now let's see how long these actually last. Iggy for entries. Yeah, that, that fight probably would have been a bit more tricky without items. And I agree with you, Atreus. Shanti is a great girl. Yeah. He might not That's always be the best friend to uh, see uh, Sky's egg that we that she was supposed to babysit, but she means well. Yep. And Gigi means good, great girl, right? <laughs> and a uh, cyclops plant, frightening fixated flora. That looks extremely disturbing. And almost, almost like it's from another game. Uh, not these bloody slimes again. Okay, at least it's very easy so far. We just kill them while they land. And... Oh, come on. Oh, I see. We now need to shoot them to get to raise the other. Okay. Simple as that, and no. Uh, laser to the face. Crying slime.
Yeah, this is a disturbing boss. <laughs> Thank you, Atreus. And yeah, I, I know Gigi means good game, but I sometimes like to experiment with the acronyms since I'm usually bad at them. Oh, like it took me like four years to learn that DM was dead minds in Warcraft. Okay. Four bloody years. I even have a habit of people that please just say the full name is stop giving me gaming acronyms. Okay. What the? Okay, it's let's eat this instead. Okay, new pattern discovered. Actually, the yeah, I agree with you there that I want Atreus. <laughs> I, I prefer to say the full name games in entirely instead of acronyms. There we go. The we might as well just get things I would use uh, acronyms for is like World of Warcraft, since WoW is easy to remember. But other games. I just use full name. There we go. <laughs> We've beaten the Eye of Cthulhu. Well done! Uh, oh yeah, ATS, you bring before. There are some games that are too many use the same acronym. And we get full healed. Oh, uh, hello. Here? Hey! Get back here, you. What's this? He dropped something. Spiderweb Island map. Oh yeah! I did it! The pirate master won't be able to draw power from this place anymore. I'd better go tell Risky. And probably uh, not mention the fact that we accidentally got someone killed. <laughs> Sheet lever net does live it down. <laughs> I'm so surprised that happened at all. Yeah, that was a bit uh, dark, yeah. Uh, yeah, they are reunited. Just. Not the way we hoped for. Can we. Uh... Okay, we can catch a bubble to the face twice. Okay, we can't go back over that way. Uh, yeah, we aren't done with this place yet, because you can see there are still some areas undiscovered. And there should still be some more bats around. Here's also something. I think you may want to take a look at your inventory. Yeah? I think your milk gone bad. <laughs> yeah. Uh, monster milk. Drink it to temporarily increase your attack power. Monster milk. You know what? I don't dare to ask for wish monsters. <laughs> you certainly took your sweet time. I found something. An evil dungeon and a giant monster and... Where did you get that pistol? I found it locked up in a chest. Why? Never mind. Anything else? This island map. One of your Tinkerbats dropped it. He hadn't transformed yet. Interesting. That suggests that the Pirate Master doesn't have enough dark magic to go around. Which means we still have time to prevent his return. Lama Ward. We're off to the next island. And yeah, that's going to be a bit of routine so far. We go to a place, we find a dungeon. And we get a new... we find the next place from that dungeon. Mm, let's see, yeah, there's still one squid and one tinkerbat there. And there's five and three here. And we still got a decent amount of time. And yeah, I'll see about fixing chats uh, before the next stream. This is Spiderweb Island.
I want you to locate the next den of evil and report back. Risky, I've been wondering. How do you know so much about the Pirate Master? Because he was my mentor. I sailed under his command for some time as first mate. He taught me everything I know. He, he taught me, I mean, bleh. You were part of his pirate crew? That's right. When a genie finally defeated him, I claimed his men and weapons as my own. You stole his stuff after he died? So he's a pirate. <laughs> Call it payment for my services, which were long overdue. The flintlock pistol was once his. Oh, then I guess you should have it back. Hold on to it. We're going to need it to survive in this place. You're not coming? Trust me, you wouldn't want have me for company. Best I stay with the ship. Okie dokie. Okay, so I was partially right on about the items and crew. Yep. Just not about uh, them being related. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, this place uh, is a bit infested with zombies. No, 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 no. Okay, first by screaming zombies. Yeah. So it actually works just a bit better to just keep running. Uh, again, just good news here, but the... Okay, discount boo. Yep, they take more hits. There we go. Oh, they blow out their candle to... Oh, go invisible. Maybe we should have sailed back for upgrades. Yeah. Uh What the? Yeah, that looks like a broken scene, but... What the heck? Yeah. Uh, there must be a hidden path here somewhere. Okay, these zombies fake you out a bit because their head flies off. You think they're defeated already, but no. Oh. Yeah, that's a solid wall. Can't jump down, so there again there must be somewhere hidden. There we go. Hmm. Yep. Yeet. Hello again. Things are interweb have turned on her. <laughs> I thought I heard Roddy Tops? Get away from her, you monster. That was close. You were almost a, meat, a mule for that thing. What are you doing here anyway? I live here. I heard this island has monster web coverage, so I... Stop with the web jokes. Sorry. Well, are you going to help me down or not? Not a chance. All I know, this is another scheme to you can eat my brain. I'm gonna leave you here there to rot. Well, she's already rotted, so... <laughs> <laughs> but I'm already rotting! Ooh. Fine. Well, what have you got to say for yourself? I think you owe me an apology for all the trouble you've caused. I... I'm sorry, but... Ooh, my legs... They're going numb. Oh no, in spite of bit you, didn't it? Forget about it. I'm a bad girl. Just, just leave me here. No way, I can't defend you in the for in the woods. It would be much too grim. Uh, my house. It's through the wood forest. I almost said woods. If you can get me back, if you can get me to my brothers in time, just hold on, Ruddy Tops. I'll save you. And so we begin. Uh, this part. <laughs> run, run, rotty tops. Uh, uh, yeah, if we get hit, it's an instant death. 
So, yeah, obstacle course time. No, you don't. She looks like a knight in shiny army running around with a princess. Oh, so she does these little tappy dance when you stand still. Oh, so she does it to the beat, to the drum beat. Oh, a bit. That is impressive. Oop. Okay, not going down there. What does it look like Rocket Top is enjoying this secretly? Because he probably is. Ugh. Oh, I remember something about this part that I sh <laughs> I'll link you after. Uh <laughs> but, uh yeah, there, there was. I've heard. I know that there was an enemy type for this part that was uh, removed from the game. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> it seems uh, Half Life got, Half Life's barnacles have gone on a vacation. Yes, and the uh, what that uh, we removed was tentacles. No, actually not. <laughs> Uh, actually, maybe I should show it on you on stream just for just for your reaction to it. Oh. Also, just what his the music. The, yeah, this well, music the, is good. Your typical barbed spikes, just uh, just just cause. <laughs> There is too. Uh, I was expecting them to come off in there instead as well. Oop. Okay, let's keep going. This isn't too harsh, you just need to well not rush through. Okay. If my memory serves me, it should just be a few more you know, a few more rooms. Rotten looks so calm! Hello. Nope. Oh. Okay. A little tombstone creep. And they <laughs> make the same crouchy right. noises, crawling noises as Shante. Are those oh, oh, great crabs? I guess so, yeah. Like hermit crabs, but with graves? Yep. Okay, any... nope. Still more to go. Yep, oh, I knew, knew it. I'm, I'm just going to jump over any and all of those we come across. Still... oh, hello. Yep. Uh... What are they trying to... <laughs> Someone's getting it <laughs> a restraining order. He thinks that. Yeah, I, Who I the think they're supposed to be. They're, them. they're not statues, they're actually in armor. Oh. Okay, yeah, then uh, that's just still creepy. I'm expecting him to follow you through another scene here. <laughs> yep, still more. Okay, I get my memory as usual was off. Yep. Uh, hello. Oh. Lamb prey. Leech of the really... sea. Yeah. Mm. 
Okay, yeah, we oh. Okay, that could have easily gotten us killed there. If this thing had aimed a little bit lower. It shows the wrong color choice for the projectile. Maybe, yeah. Flushing your sperms. Yeah. Ellie, you got kissed to death. Well done. There we go. Yeah, we, we have to be getting close now. I say that as there's a whole obstacle course underneath us. Yeah, this place is basically uh, sexual harassment <laughs> attempts to the chase. Up, but the oh, that was the one that came from above. Oh crap, now we have to do all of that again. And I missed the jump. Get him over for you. <laughs> HR nightmare, yeah. Yep, yep, come on. Well, the only one that doesn't feel like harassment are the gray crabs. Yeah. But then again, they're still creeping. Okay, come on. And True. this is bloody where Roddy Top lives. <laughs> uh. It's just not wrong. They have quite a massive bed coverage, but still. Yeah. Probably not the kind you want to use. There we go. There we go. Okay, that must be the end of it. So let's quickly put down a save. It Hello. looks so adorable when running. Uh oh. And still, we're going with this. My hero! There it sits, but with the peeled shrimp. Unless he's here for dinner, she should turn tail and hit the bricks. Okay, hello to you as well, Abner. Some big brother you are. Can't you see she's in there? It's fine to me. Right? <laughs> what a ride! You're doing double crossing. Hey. Shantae, is it? I got something I've been meaning to say. I ain't too good at making friends. But you've been good to me and Poe and my sis here. It's just that Pirate Girl has a real way of getting into your head and making you hear what you want to hear. Also, this is a pretty cool shot of Abner. Yeah. Yes, I'm trying to apologize for some bad calls in the past. And yeah, Roddy tricked us. <laughs> Teaming up with that risky boots. Dumbest thing I ever did. Oh, well, that's okay. Oh, and the Lorados here are all I got left of whatever life I once had. I can't remember much else. But you always you always made her you always make her small. I gotta be grateful for that. Oh, I don't know what to say. Forget it, we're square. Where the devil's Poe? He ain't been back in a while. He was supposed to fix my, to fix my wagon so we could skip that creepy forest. Well, if either of you uh, sees him, tell him to check in or I'm gonna get peeved. <laughs> oh, nice, I could get the uh, things mended with. Uh, is that a coffee machine? <laughs> yep. 
Poor Poe. I, I hope that Big Spider didn't get him. How we're supposed to live on brains and not hurt nobody, I'll never know. Yeah. That's a bit of a damned if you do, damned if you don't case, huh? Yeah, and they drink coffee to avoid that? Yep. Oh, well, they... Uh, they avoid... They, oh, there's Poe. They drink coffee to, affo to avoid from going feral. Alright. Your brother sent me to find you. Hey, you're that coffee banshee. I remember you. Coffee oh. banshee? Oh, no, 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 don't say that. Careful, Poe, or she might tear those little wings no. off your back and shove them up your ass. Genie. Half genie. Well, former half genie. Thanks, whatever you are. I was scavenging for wagon parts when I got stuck in here. You like to help people in need, right? How about taking a look at it? I'm no mechanic, but sure, I guess. Follow me, the wagon's this way. This is all that's left of our wagon. These wheels I can repair no problem. But that axle will never run smoothly again without some squid oil. Uh -oh. And this island doesn't seem to have any squids on it. Hmm. Oh, the horse! Yeah. <laughs> I. We only, vis we only visited the zombie caravan once, but I think they also had the skeletal horse there. And, yes, the, the zombie caravan was also the, where you would meet Roddy Tops in the original game as well. Alright, and... Those wheels! Yeah, those are busted to all hell and back. And you can repair those, but not an axle, alright? Uh, I did not mean to use that, but okay. At least it will help us get rid of these a bit quicker. But not enough. I think you That's... one hit it makes them have like one health remaining. So yeah. you're probably still gonna need to upgrade your attack. Okay. So Poe yeah, po serves as a... where Poe is serves as a quick point back and forth. Hmm. I don't think there's actually anything more we can do on this island. And, well, we are, we have another reason to want to go back to Sequin Land, or Scuttletown at least. Yeah, yeah Sequin Land is the entire region. Uh, Scuttletown is just, well, Scuttletown. Find the next den of evil, I'm counting on you. Are you ready to shove off? Yes. All right, so let's do it. Let's do it, good. Yeah, there's still quite a bit more to do there, but we can't progress at the moment. Oh, hello. Ammo Baron's gone up the deep end. Yeah, <laughs> what made you think that? Look at all the builders. I bet they're making a jungle gym. Uh, probably not. It's official, we're changing the name to Ammo Town. Oh no. Where are these guys? Where's my house? <laughs> Motherfuckers, they're not. It's... That was so much better when Mayor Scuttlebutt was in town. It wasn't charged, but. Anything new here? Nope. What the hell was the Mimic trying to do with the Tinker Bath? Uh, let's have a look. There's more this way. Let's see if we can find out what. But actually, no, we, we already know who is over here. It's the mayor. And, well, somewhere we can't pass. The Ammo Baron is bringing soldiers from everywhere. Gunners, pilots, even the Techno Baron. Oh dear, and dear, oh dear. I wish I had five mini chunklets to help me feel better. Have any for me? I don't think we have enough, though. Thanks, have 75 gems. Maybe we did. Okay, so... Okay, I didn't know that. I guess we can exchange healing items for gems with him. Because I don't right, think we um... can actually sell things. 
I feel like if Sultana, that the lady, were to see what is going on here, she would probably flip. Yeah. Hopefully, at least. Construction workers are so handsome. <laughs> Let's heal up. In, well, luckily water that isn't saliva <laughs> from a giant big-ass lizard. Hey! <laughs> Zombies? They used to be everywhere, but it seems like they moved away. They, they've moved away. Uh, we don't have enough for her services. But we do have enough to get some upgrades. Let's... let's... Uh, okay, I need, need to press the A button on this. Yeah, let's get a few of these for easy travel. And... Pistol tune-up. Upgrade your pistol to do more damage. Okay. Um, yeah, let's get the back there. So, wrong button. There we go. Now, uh, let's see. Back dash. While standing, press the scimitar button to dash back at the back dash. Okay. Then what is the... Okay, so the trigger. <laughs> or the left trigger, at least. She's moonwalking. No, she's doing a twirl. Oh, okay. Oh, I I'm actually reminded of something now with uh, Shantae bouncing in place like this. Uh, back when we streamed Iconoclast, Robin also always bounced on her feet. Up until yeah, a certain like... part in the story. Yeah, except for this. She was bouncing, but not by this much. Yeah, Robin was always bouncing on her heels. Or, but a after a certain part in the story, uh, she stops doing that idle animation. Uh, I won't spoil what part uh, uh, she stops at, because, well, it's a spoiler. But if you were to go back to that, if we were to look back at that stream, if the, at those streams, uh, we'd probably have some moments when we, uh, where we can see in that she stops doing that at a certain point. I, I think we might have, may, I think we might have commented on that at some point. Oh, all right, Atreus. Let's yeah. see more than us be playing it. Yeah, it. It is a really good game, and I would advise it to everyone who likes 2D platformers or 2D combat platformers. Yeah, I remember you saying it was one of the best games we played that year. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, this was the first year of me joining you here. <laughs> uh, there was a royal guard asking for you. Did you meet him? It's probably best that we don't run into them. A powerful warrior passed through on his way to the palace. Or rather, a weakling with the body of a powerful warrior. That can't be Bolo. Your uncle is a relic hunter. Kind of cool that there are still a few of those guys around. Where the hell is Mimic? Oh, Sky's here. Still. Back already. That was fast. I got what I needed. Thanks. And yeah, we have no need to hang on to this. Look, I know you... you know, I know you caught all the blame for what happened with the Ammo Baron. So I sold off some of my Warbirds to help you bounce back. Bro, Sky, this is your entire nest egg. And she gives us 100. <laughs> okay, so we can get another upgrade again. Kind. Try to stay out of mischief. The Sky, you do know who you're talking to, right? I... They didn't get much screen time in the last game, did they? Yeah. But... Did they have bigger rules in the first game? Uh, the first, the, the first Shantae game is where Shantae actually meets all of her friends. Yeah, but were they very active? Uh, you needed their help to get into each dungeon, at the very least. Alright. Hmm. Hope they get their some more screen time in the other games for... I, I, I like the design that they're at to do it. Something's off. Like they are not used, probably, or something. 
Maybe. Oh, Shantae. Uh, yes. Oh. That's the two-hour timer going off, but we can finish this. We have something to discuss with you at the palace. Please follow me. That can be good. Perhaps you're aware that the Sultana is away on business. As such, a formal inqu inquiry into your recent actions is not possible. No? According to some very old... and legal... guidelines, responsibility falls to the royal librarian. Because apparently he once served on the ruling council. For one day... <laughs> he has deemed it inappropriate to cut winsome long hair. Be it by scissors, jigsaw, or goat mouth. Huh? <laughs> how would you cut hair with a jigsaw? Or <laughs> is that a miss? Is that how a, so a certain type of saw is <laughs> called in a certain... Uh, <laughs> in some place, or whatever. Uh, you're free to go. And that's that disaster avoided. And I guess we know what Mimic was up to. No, that was close. Oh no, you're not getting off that easily. What's this I hear about you sneaking off to the library? Oh, that, uh... I explicitly told you to stay out of trouble, did I not? Yes, sir. Next time you might not be so lucky. I wanted to ask you... Yes? Never mind. Alright, I'll be back at my workshop in case you change your mind. I have a rather sensitive project that requires my immediate attention. Uh, about that. Uh, oh. This is not good. Let's uh, have a chat with the librarian. Keep that chin up, young lady. You have friends all around you. Good luck. Okay, that's the same he said earlier, but still. Nice to hear all the same. I would not be surprised if he knew of the incident. Uh, I'm guessing uh, it probably made news that the freaking town was under attack and its defender was the one who got sued. Or not, well, not sued, but oh, hello. Uh, um. Hello. Hi. I'm Brandon. Stupendous clandestine powers were revealed to me the day I held erect my enchanted blade and said, Hey guys, we should go get matching purses. No reason they should just be, uh, uh, they should be just for ladies anymore. Am I right? Hey fellas, don't leave. Fellas, come back. <laughs> and with those words, I became Branson. Most capable man in the galaxy. Is he a He-Man reference? Yep. Gosh, that's pretty killer. I know, but the clandestine words only work if I hold erect my blade. And I accidentally left my enchanted blade on the bus. It, it's got to be that specific blade. Bummer. I know it's probably sealed away in Castle Boneface. That or in a desert. I don't do sand. It, it gets in the shoes. Okay, and... Uh, with that, let's go find a save guy. He uh, looks familiar. Is there a save nearby that is at the other end of the... Actually, can we... No, we can't do that here. Yeah, sand does tend to get into everywhere. Yeah, like, uh, I, I don't hate sand, but I would... I would avoid laying on it. <laughs> it's also rough and coarse and makes a certain Jedi go uh, a bit mad. <laughs> oh dear. I would love to dignify uh, that joke. <laughs> okay. Let's save. And there we'll have to call it for tonight. And, yeah, actually, let's have a little look. What is with this star here? Uh, oh! Okay, we can change the background with that. Let's let's take nice. this one. It has a lot less, well, white space all around it. 
Uh, well, yeah, we're going to enjoy this game. Yeah, it, it is a fun game. It is a very, very competent Metroidvania, like. Uh, well, just the entire, just the entire Shantae franchise is full of character. <clears throat> yeah, looking forward to see more. Yeah, uh, but for now, uh, let's leave the music playing as we go look for someone to raid. Uh, did you show something? Uh, actually, I was going to show you something. So I'll bring that up over here. Let's see. Uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. Shantae. <laughs> Why do you do that? I repaired the gremlin cannon. Uh, no, not that. Let's see. It should be on TV tropes. And I'll send. I'll find the line, and then I'll send it to you. Let's see. Radar. Shantae Pirate Curse. Yep. <laughs> Tan Line Island. No. Uh, let's see. Mm. Wait. I think I, there was supposed to be... Ah, here, no? Okay, okay, it, it wasn't actually on that area, it was on the... There was supposed to... There was going to be a Game Boy Advance game for Shantae at one point, but they, they cancelled it. And, uh... Yeah, I'll just send this text to you over Discord and let you read it out. Bef let you read... Like, you read it out loud whilst I go look for someone to raid. Okay. <laughs> Dear gods. <laughs> okay. Let's see. The console ga game of the voice game would have had a perverted zombie enemy brush it around the room with his hand out as if to group something. When he caught Shanti, he did spank her. Not surprisingly, the developer decided to leave this particular concept behind. Madsen Boson, we do not talk about spanky yo. <laughs> <laughs> oh anyway. <laughs> you know what? You know what, Helium? Know what then? <laughs> Send you to the on the Discord. <laughs> the Mega Bond GIF. <laughs> yes. Uh, I should find a way for you to <laughs> to activate an anime a bonk animation on the stream somehow. <laughs> Anyways, let's see. Uh. Viking Blonde is online streaming. He he's on the just chatting part, so he he, he hasn't he hasn't started up the game that he's going to start yet. So we can't actually know what he's going to do. Uh, he has been busy with some new or new-ish game. Uh, I believe it. What was it called? Tinykin, which is a Pikmin-like game, I believe. Uh, he's probably going to do that or a Sea of Thieves. Then we have uh, Kaiju Fluffs. I believe that is someone from the one of the Discord servers that I'm on, who's also a streamer. They are also just chatting. Not sure if that means that they're going to start something. Um, hmm. And then we have, let's see, Wolf Machina, who is streaming Minecraft. Oh, they're, they're the one. They're, they're the ones who were streaming cre Create Minecraft earlier in the, in the previous uh, time that we streamed. And it looks like they're doing it again. And okay. Then we have Fuzzy Freaks who is streaming Kenshi. Kenshi is quite a game. I, it is a very, very hard game, but if you can get the, the ball rolling, it is a very satisfying game to play. And the heck is this? Scene Moral, who is streaming by Hyacinthus? Yeah, that's a flower name, I know, but I don't know how to pronounce it in English. 
In Dutch, it's, cons cons it's uh, said Hyacinth, I think. It's been forever since I've heard mention of them. Uh, let's see. They've titled their is by Hyacinth a narrative adventure game about the... And the rest is off screen or is hidden because it's too long. Dear. Then we have Hobby Tan who is streaming Aspire, Ina's Tale. Okay. Um, any of those sound interesting, or shall we go Raid Viking Blonde? Uh, but, uh, uh, raid Viking Blonde. Yeah. Uh, Hopefully go... the Gremlins will survive being launched from a cannon this time. <laughs> okay, I'm still going to check out Wolf Machina sometime, for me because I want to see how they do. <laughs> Not you bonking as well, Atreus. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Okay. Good atheist. Who's a good boy? All right, then to the channel slash raid, and I'm not going to start it right now because last time we almost ran out of power before we finished things off. So, yeah. <laughs> so before we eat game, uh, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Atreus, for tagging along. I'll see about well fixing up the big-ass open area next to the name there. Uh, however, that's going to ha need to happen. Uh, always a pleasure to see you. And uh, thank you as always as well, Drakir. You're most welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, this is the third stream that we've done this week. And also the most streams that we've ever done in a row. I think we're on seven now or something, or at least six. Yeah, we've had about six, yeah. Hmm. I'll need to, I'll need to tag, I'll, I'll need to tag the check the time tags on the streams to be certain. But uh, it's either six or seven. Yeah, it, it's been a, a bit of a marathon. Uh, I don't, I'm not planning on streaming too much more this week. Uh, this weekend I should have free, so we could maybe do uh, another two streams. Uh, one of them is Showcase Sunday, and maybe some more Minecraft. Yeah, that would be actually a good idea. We've been away we did Minecraft. Yeah, and I, I have been working away on that on my own time still. So, yeah, let's start that raid. If I can... Bro. There it is. And, uh, yeah, <laughs> I'll be taking a bit of a break until the weekend. Maybe if I feel up for it, I might do a stream of something else. Um, yeah. Uh, thank you once. Thank you all once again. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then, be safe, folks, and watch out for zombies. Come on.